Uh, hey everyone, uh, welcome to another session for Rap Boy Celtic, uh, Stay at Home. Um, I say this Stay at Home thing's been dragging along for a while, but look, fair play to everyone um, that's, that has been staying at home, trying to follow the guidelines. It's so hard for our young, younger um, younger players in the club, in any club, in any team, uh, to be, be at home this long without seeing their friends, going to training, playing games. So fair play, keep it up. Try and practice these little sessions you can. If you can do them yourself at home. Um, inside or outside, we've been lucky with the weather, so get, get outside and just take a ball 10 15 minutes. Um, I say, My name's Ross, we're going to get started anyway. If you have a, if you have the four objects in your garden, you just make some sort of little small square. And uh, we're going to start with a little bit of a warm up, okay? Um, and then I'll talk you through what we're going to do the rest of the, rest of the session. Then, so while we're, while we're waiting, we're just going to do our toe taps on the ball, like so, but we're going to get ourselves doing it a little bit quicker. Okay, we start with this every time just to get ourselves. Control the ball, get our heart rate going, and then we're going to go. So we're going to keep it going for 10 seconds, okay? So keep it going. Eight, seven, keep doing the toe tap. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Brilliant. Okay, now we're going to go back to our inside again. Did this again in the last few sessions. We're just going to get control of that ball. The ball's in between our two feet, inside, inside, as quick as we can for 10 seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, brilliant, back to our toes. Good, for another five seconds. Four, three, two, one, inside. Great, five, four, three, two, one. Super job, okay. We did this a few sessions ago. You want to put your foot on the ball and we're going to roll the ball forward and back, like so. There you go, your own pace. We're going to use our right foot to start. So we're just going to roll the ball back with our right foot. Yeah, great. 10 seconds, keep it going. You go your own pace though, guys. You might go quite slow. Five, four, three, two, one. We've done our right. We're going to switch to our left. Same thing, bottom of our foot. We're rolling it back, rolling it forward with just the bottom of our foot. Now we're using our left foot. Good. So we'll keep that going for another few seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Okay, another one we did a few sessions ago is we're going to drag it, but we're going to push it with the top of our foot. So we're going to drag and then push with the top of our foot this time. So we'll start with our right foot. So we're dragging it, pushing it. So once you get going, you might do it quite quick. So can we keep practicing that for 10 seconds? Drag, push, drag, push, drag, push. Brilliant. Five seconds to go. And brilliant. Okay, we're going to switch over. We're going to go to our left foot this time. Drag and push again with our left this time. Okay, we're just getting our, as many touches of the ball as we can. Just at the start. Drag and push with our left. Five more seconds, can we do it? Great, okay. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go do the Ronaldo. So I'll come to the front of, the, front of here so you can see it. We're gonna do the Ronaldo, remember that? So we do our scissors over the top of the ball and we're gonna go as fast as we can for 20 seconds and see how many we can get done, okay? 20 seconds to see how many we can do. Ready? And we go. So for 20 seconds, we're round. Get as many done as you can in 20 seconds. Keep it moving. Keep moving. Good. Excellent. 10 seconds to go. Get more in, get more in. How many can we get? Brilliant. We're keeping it going, keeping it going. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent job. Okay. Before we go on and move on to our control like we did on Tuesday, we're just I just want to dribble inside this little square. Anywhere you like, get as many touches of this ball as you can, and just move anywhere in the square as you can. Anywhere in the square, keep moving. Use both our feet, different parts of our foot for 30 seconds. Let's go. Get as many touches as you can. Keep moving in the square. We might do our little turns. Great. Super, super job. Well done, well done. Might even do a little Ronaldo. Good. 10 seconds to go. Keep the ball moving. Good. Brilliant. 
Excellent. And pause there. Same thing we're going to do. We did this on Tuesday for a quick warm up. We're going to dribble inside the square. When I shout go, you have to get yourself to all four cones and then get back to the ball. So if I shout go, you go one, two, three, four, and then we're back to our ball. Easy as that? Okay, we're dribbling. Let's go. Dribbling in the square. Listen for the shout. And go. So we're through the four cones. Get down low, we're back to our ball, and we keep moving. Excellent, we've got two more to go, keep going. And go, get to the four cones. Get to the four cones and get back to the ball. Excellent job, back dribbling again with the ball. Last one. And go, to the cones, one, two, three, and we're four, we're back to the ball. Good job, well done. Okay, so we're going to pick the ball up in our hands. We'll do a couple that we did on Tuesday. We're going to control the ball with the top of our foot. We're going to throw it up, and we're going to control the ball with the top of our foot, and let it stop in front of us. We're going to throw it up, control the ball with the top of our foot, and let it stop in front. So we're going to try it with just our right foot, and then we do this. So we'll do a few of those for practice. Great. We're throwing. We drop up with the top of the hit it with the same control with the top of our foot and let it drop. Lost my words. So keep going. Another five seconds to give a couple of practice with just your right foot. Really. We've done our right and we always use both sides. So we're going to do our left now. We're going to throw it up with it and we're going to control it with the top of our left foot. Yeah? Happy? Great. So we're going to throw it up. Control with the top of our left, and we're going to take it back down in front of us. We'll give it a little, little practice for five seconds. Excellent. Okay, we're going to pick the ball up again. We used the top of our foot last time. We also used this part of the body here. In between the knee and the hip, we used our thigh. So we're now going to do the thigh again. We're going to start with our right thigh, this one here, and we're going to throw it up, and we're going to... <laughs> Let it cushion off our thigh and let it drop in front. So our thigh and the ball drops in front. Happy? So give it a little practice with our right with our right foot, right thigh, sorry, right leg. Brilliant. Keep going for 10 seconds. Get a few more in. Brilliant. Yeah, five seconds to go with just our right foot. Great. Okay, now we're going to switch over. Okay, we're going to use our left leg this time. We're going to use our left thigh and we're going to control the left thigh, let it bounce in front of us, and then we go. Control with our left thigh and we let it drop. Brilliant. Yeah, keep it going. A few more to practice. Five more seconds. Great stuff. Well done. Good. Okay. Now we're going to up the challenge a little bit. Okay. Now what we have to try and do is control the ball with our thigh, then can we control the ball with the top of our foot afterwards? A bit tougher. Okay, so we control the ball with our thigh and then the top of our foot and then we edge So we're having two touches this time. Our thigh, then the top of our foot. And you can use either leg this time. So we control with our thigh and then the top of our foot. So you might control with your right thigh, the top of your left foot. So we're going to do thigh, then top of the foot. Give it a little go. How many can we get done? Brilliant. So we control it, and we're keeping it going. Super. Good. Ten more seconds. Get a little practice in. Good. Five seconds to go. Can we get a couple more in? Good. Well done. Well done, guys. Great. Okay. Let's switch our balls. So the other night we used. Our walls, and you probably noticed that I've got I've got three walls. I'm kind of surrounded by walls in my garden at the moment. We are now going to throw the ball off the wall, or I am, and then we're going to try and control the ball. But you might be lucky enough. Hopefully, you might have someone that can help you instead. If you have your a parent with you, brother, sister, or you're doing it with somebody else, can they throw the ball to you? And then can you control the football? Okay. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to control the football with the inside of our foot distance. The inside of our foot. Remember we do the inside, inside in the warm-up? 
Can we control the ball with the inside of my foot? We throw it off the wall. And then I'm going to control the ball with the inside of my foot and let it stop. Yeah? Can we give it a go? Like so. So we might use our left or our right. We control the ball with the inside and we let it stop in front of us. So give that a practice for 20 seconds. Get as many done as you can. And just using the inside of the foot to control the ball. So I might need to step back. You probably noticed I am stepping back a couple of times. I'm going to use the inside of my foot to control the ball. Good. Yeah, a couple more done. Excellent. Okay, now we're going to use the top of our foot. We use the inside, we're going to use the top. So we're going to throw the ball. When it comes towards us, we're going to control it with the top of our foot this time. So that's this bit here. And we're going to try let the ball sit, sit in front of us. So it comes off the wall. And we're going to try and use the top of our foot to stop. So give that a little go. Give that a little go. So it's going to come towards us. And then we stop at the top of our foot. And then we go on. So the top of our foot, and then we're ready to make a pass if we need. So give it another couple of little practices. Top of our foot only. Great. Okay. Next one. We're going to have to throw it a little bit harder. So if you've got someone to help you, make sure they throw it maybe a little bit higher. You might let it bounce first. It's entirely up to you. And we're going to try and control the ball with our thigh. So we're going to control the ball with our thigh, and then we're going to let it sit in front of our feet. So let it come out, control the ball with the thigh, and then it sits in front. So can you get that when I go? So control the ball with the thigh, and then it just sits in front. So practice for another 10 seconds. Great, you have to watch the way it bounces. My garden's a bit bobbly. You have to watch the way it bounces. It can bounce off the wall a bit crooked. If someone's throwing it to you, it could be a disaster. So just take your time, look where it's going to go, and then look to control that ball. Brilliant. Guys, excellent job. Okay, now we're going to have the ball on the ground for the last one, right? So I'm going to move over and use this ball here so you can see. Now I'm going to pretend I'm passing to the wall. You might pass with a partner. I'm going to pass to the wall. So I'm going to kick the ball. I'm going to pass the ball to the wall. And then when it comes back, I have to control it with the inside of my foot, which is this part here. I'm also going to pass it with the inside of my foot. So have a look. And it comes back, and I control. Yeah. Okay, so we're doing two touches from here, and we're bouncing it off the wall. Or someone might be throwing it to you, or rolling it to you, or even passing it to you. Even better. So we're just going to use our right foot just now. Pass, and we control. Good. Take our touch and pass. So can we do that for 10 seconds? Just our right foot if we can. Good. Five seconds to go. Can we get a couple more in? Well done. We've used our right. As always, we have to switch it. We use our left foot like we did on Tuesday night. So we're going to pass the ball to the wall with the inside of our foot and control it with the inside of our foot. Pass. And then we control. Then we pass again. Good. Ten more seconds to give our practice. Just our left foot this time. Just our left foot. Inside, inside. Super. Take our time. Just our left. Good job. Okay. Last one before we finish off. Is we're now going to go a little bit closer to the wall. And we're going to use both our feet. Left and right. Any way it comes. But I want you to take two touches. Don't try and just hit it off one, one touch. Try and take your second touch to get control of that football first. Okay. So whatever way it comes, we control it. Whatever way it comes, we control it first. Throw it a little bit harder. Good. So we're taking our two touches just off a wall. Brilliant. You notice I'm keeping it really low. I've got windows right there. I'm keeping the ball low so it don't cause any damage. So I don't get in trouble. So we're keeping the ball low for 10 seconds. Can we keep the ball moving off the wall? Two touches. Great. Guys, well done. Excellent job. Right. I've got one more challenge to show you that you can maybe practice after this, or you can maybe practice with someone at home, is we can use the wall to maybe bring in some of our skills that we did. Okay, so do a little skill. So this time, if someone passes it to you, or it hits off the wall, I want you to let it go through your legs, 
and then turn and go a different way. So if you watch me, I'm going to pass the ball off the wall, but I'm not going to control it straight away. I'm going to let it go through my legs, and then I'm going to try and get onto the ball. Let me try that. Let me pass the ball, I'm going to let it go through my legs, and then I'm going to get onto the ball. So someone might pass it to you, you might hit it off a wall. So give that a little practice. Practice those at home. We're letting the ball go through, and then we have to stop the ball if we can. Can we get that one a go? Give it a little practice. Just for five seconds, the ball goes through my legs, and I get onto the ball, and I do my little turn. Kind of like this, kind of like the step over turn we did. Guys, that was great. Practice all these things tonight. We do a lot of, a lot of the same things um, over, the, over the sessions because it's so important to get those little basic things right. So keep practicing. Use a wall, get somebody to help you out, and we'll maybe catch you next week. See ya.